Welcome to Writer's Toolbox, an application by Socially Conscious Software. This video tutorial will give you an overview of how it works. Ultimately, this application is about empowering you to be a better writer. The content is designed around that central purpose. To achieve this goal, the content is dependent on you. Writing is challenging, thoughtful, and enjoyable work. And this application achieves its goal by providing you with the means to increase your rate of discovery of interesting new ideas and methods for your writing. There are 14 icons on the main page of this application. Each icon launches a different section of the app. The questions section provides you with 264 questions in these 10 categories. Each question is designed to help you break through a writer's block by asking you something you may not have thought about. Odds are you have thought of some of these questions before. Their purpose is, therefore, to remind you, as well as to introduce new considerations to you so that you can use your good judgment to find what is helpful for your current writing predicament or for planning your future writing works. As you can see, each question also contains explanation text to help guide as well as a user notes feature which allows you to type in your own notes into the app. Additionally, there is an email feature which allows you to email the question, explanation, text, and your notes to yourself or friends. The punctuation section is designed to provide you with a quick pocket reference to punctuation marks and common uses. There are 17 entries in this section, each of which is equipped with a guiding principle and an example. Again, there's a user note feature and the email feature. The writing definitions section provides you with a quick pocket reference to look up some important grammatical and writing related definitions. Each definition is followed by an example. And again, there's the user note section and the email feature. The plot section of this application contains 25 different plot types with examples of each. These plot types encompass all the standard storytelling plots. Some folks say there are 7 basic plots, others say 20. It depends on how fine you want to draw the distinctions. We chose these 25. The description provides you with the basic idea, and the examples ref reference stories in popular culture that contain the plot element. Again, there's a user note feature and the email feature. Okay, let's skip ahead to the notes section. The notes section of the app allows you to create notes to jot down your ideas from anywhere. Just touch the plus button in the top right, touch the title to enter your new text, and then touch edit note body to edit the main body of the note. Touch save note to save and also there's the email note feature so you can email your notes to yourself or friends. To delete a note, swipe the note name and touch the delete button. Touch done to cancel or touch edit, touch the red circle and then touch the delete to delete your note. Again touch done to cancel. The dialogue section of this application provides you with a list of over a hundred words that you can use in place of the words said so that your dialogue remains vibrant and fresh for your readers. Additionally, the words are tagged for indicating loud, normal, questioning, or softly spoken speech by your characters. The prepositions section provides you with 133 prepositions for when you need them. The iPod control section allows you to listen to your own music or audiobooks when you, without leaving the application. The help page has a very detailed description of the application to answer any questions you may have. It's intended to explain the content of the application and how to use it and why we believe it will help you become a better writer.
The video tutorial section provides you with direct NAC access to this video tutorial. Okay, we skipped the people, places, things, and scenarios section. It's time to revisit them. These sections go hand in hand in this application. The way they interact is complex, but after a little explanation here, it will become easy to see the power within this writing tool. Simply put, scenarios will generate random connections between people, places, and things. The people, places, and things can also be generated randomly. Additionally, and this is the great part, they can be your characters from your own works too. Keep in mind that the generators are pseudo-random. This means that the structures the generators create are grammatically correct and structurally significant, and in our humble opinion, highly poetic, but also that they may be contextually lagging. That's where you come in. You act as a, fil a filter reviewing the endless possibilities, keeping the ones you like, and imagining new, more creative work, more relevant to your specific needs. This section is designed to produce endless variations for you to read through and pick the ones you like. Further, it can help inspire you to create alternatives to the suggested scenarios, people, places, and things. So, if you're looking for a new character, generate one. If you're looking for a new setting, generate one. You get the idea. Okay. To create a person, launch the people section and touch the plus button in the upper right. This randomly populates first name, last name, role, and gender with a new character. Touch randomize to quickly change until you find one you like. Touch save person when you do. To enter your own character, press the touch, uh, plus button, touch a text field, and change the name. It's that easy. Places is very similar. Touch the plus button to create a new place. Touch randomize until you find one you like. Or touch the text field and change it to enter your own settings. Things are very similar. Touch the plus button randomize until you find one you like and save it. The scenarios feature requires at least one person, place, or thing to create a scenario with. Again, touch the plus button to create a new scenario. This will randomly choose between one of the six scenario types, which are person to person, solo person, person to place, solo place, person to thing, and solo thing. Touch the randomize button to randomly select between them and create new scenarios. To edit the scenario, touch the edit scenario button and then make your edits. To save the scenario, touch the save scenario button. To delete a scenario, swipe it with your finger, press done to cancel or press edit and press the red circle and press the delete button and again press done to cancel. Deleting people, places, and things is the same way. So again this application is packed full of goodies and as you can see this application is a powerful writing tool that will help you develop and advance your writing skills. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I have. Good luck writing well.